As we all know, this past year has been an extremely difficult one for many people and for many businesses. But we have now turned the corner and a recovery is underway. Since we last met, the economic news has on balance been better than we were expecting. Over recent months, the number of people with a job has risen very significantly and the peak in the unemployment rate is now likely to be between 7 and 8% rather than close to 10%. Retail spending has also continued to increase with consumers adjusting their spending patterns to the realities of a COVID world. Business and consumer confidence has also lifted and the housing markets have generally proved resilient across the country. Given these developments, we're now expecting GDP growth to be solidly positive in both the September and the December quarters. And then next year, our central scenario is for the economy to grow by 5% and then by 4% over 2022. These positive figures though cannot hide the reality that the recovery will be uneven and it will be bumpy and it will be drawn out. Some parts of the economy are doing quite well at the moment, but others are in considerable difficulty. And even as the overall economy is growing relatively solidly, it will, be not, it will not be until the end of 2021 that we again reach the level of output recorded at the end of 2019. The effects of this loss of output and income are all too obvious in the labour market. The unemployment rate currently stands at 7% and we're expecting it to be still above 6% in two years' time. Underemployment's higher still, with many people working on reduced hours.